One of the initial issues to be addressed in the anthropological study of religion is the question of how do we as anthropologists, or how does the discipline of anthropology define religion? What aspect, what domain of social and cultural life constitutes this category, religion? As you can see from the list of definitions compiled for you, anthropologists and members of other fields and disciplines have offered several different attempts at defining this category, religion. Most of these definitions have reflected the particular theoretical perspectives of those who have offered these definitions. You can see that one of the key problems is how do we create a, a concept of religion that is broad enough, wide enough to encompass the cultural variation that anthropologists find as we study across human societies. First of all, if we offer a definition of religion that focuses on spirits or spiritual beings, be they local spirits or uh, multiple deities or one or a powerful deity, the issue is does this spread across all human societies? And what we find is that there are societies and religions <coughs> that uh, posit a, a level of knowledge of cosmology beyond that of the immediate senses, but it does not encompass or involve any kind of belief in spiritual beings. For instance, uh, several versions of Buddhism focus on particular human beings who have reached a high level of, uh, of actualization, of enlightenment, but they're human beings. They're not spiritual beings. These are oftentimes then considered saints, exemplary of figures, um, even Buddhas. Uh, but they're not spiritual beings uh, in that sense. So if we have the basis of religion, <coughs> of our definition of religion, as being the belief in spiritual beings and kind of practices that relate to a belief in spiritual beings, then this would not encompass uh, religions uh, such as uh, several varieties of Buddhism. If we focus on defining the area of religion as being that which is set aside in a society as sacred, in contrast to the mundane or the profane aspects of social life, then will this sort of definition or framework, would it extend broadly, cross-culturally? What we find again is that it's too narrow. In many uh, religions such as Hinduism or Islam, the religious realm is diffused. It's not a concept oftentimes where there's a separate domain of life that would be considered to be religious uh, that's isolated from other domains of social and cultural life. Uh, so what we've offered uh, in many cases, such as in the text that you're reading, uh, from the perspective of anthropology and anthropologists, is a definition which is more of an operational definition. We've come to the conclusion that there's not any easy and hard and fast uh, strict definition of religion. So we try to deal with a broad operational definition that we can work with as we conduct ethnographic studies on religion, in particular social and historical context. In the text in, in this course, our major text by John Bowen, Religions in Practice, he offers such an operational definition for religion. You have some other examples on the list of definitions uh, uh, in Blackboard. Uh, what Bowen has done is to create a definition that's broad in two phases, an idea that focuses us on uh, practices and beliefs that extend beyond that of the immediate realities available to our senses, uh, and then leaves it wide open to be filled by the particular conceptions and the particular practices and the particular emphasis in the particular societies in which we study.